Leicester Radio, good afternoon. Student Heli Centre 69 request airfield information and radio check. Hello and welcome to another edition of Rory on Air. I'm about ready to take off in the Cadbury G2 on another solo cross-country navigation exercise. But what's this video all about? Well, I'm going to try and answer a couple of the key questions that you guys sent me in response to my last couple of videos to Cranfield and Duxford. Number one, why wasn't your hand on the collective more, Rory? And number two, why are you using taxiways and runways? I thought the whole point of helicopters was that you didn't need them. Student Heli Centre 69 ready for departure. Answers to those coming here on this edition of Rory On Air. First heading is 117, accelerating to 80 knots. Start the timer. London Information, good afternoon. Student Heli Centre 69, request basic service. Heli Centre, correction, Student Heli Centre 69, London Information, good afternoon, pass message. Good afternoon, Student Heli Centre 69 is a Cabri G2 helicopter from Leicester to Leicester, 1POB VFR. Current position is 10 miles south east of Leicester, Echo Golf, Bravo Golf, at 2,500 feet on 1019. Intended routing is uh, via Huntington and then up to Spalding before returning to Leicester. Request basic service. Heli Centre 69, thank you, Squawk 1177, Charlie, basic service. The Barnsley QNH 1019. Barnsley QNH 1019, Squawk 1177, Mo Charlie, Student Heli Centre 69. Heli Centre 69, traffic information appeared to indicate just reported two miles south of Leicester, routing towards Daventry, that's southbound, at 2,500 feet. Looking for traffic, Student Heli Centre 69. Golf Yankee Tango, traffic information, a, a G2, which is a light single uh, uh, engine helicopter, is just reported 10 southeast of Leicester, routing Huntington at 2,500 feet. Golf Yankee Tango looking, we'll uh, make a descent to 2,000 feet and uh, we'll keep an eye on. Golf Yankee Tango, copy, thank you. Student break, student Heli Centre 69, do you copy the of traffic descending 2,000 feet? Hey firm, thank you for that, student Heli Centre 69. We are coming up to gap here between um, Corby and Kettering. We're just over the top of the wind farm, so that puts us bang on on track. 80 knots, two and a half grand. Uh, and I can see graph and water there, so we're, we're on, on heading on station. Do a free that check, fuel 114 litres, and we should have had 117 when we started, and we've got uh, uh, 110 rather, and got plenty of fuel, so that's fine. Um, radio, we are tuned and we're talking to London Information. Engine T's and P's are in the green. DI is aligned and uh, altimeter set 1019, uh, two and a half thousand feet trim and transponder. So we'll keep on 117. That's working okay for us. So a few of the things that were picked up on on my last video, which was really interesting, and I'm very grateful to all of you who've um, you know, made the effort to comment on the videos, but it's great that you watch them, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, but comments are really useful and, and interesting as well to see what other people spot and, and people ask interesting questions, and it gives me a chance to think about you know what the answer is. And, and if I don't know, I'll try and find out from you know, one of the instructors at the heli centre or what have you, and, and come back to you. And a couple of things. Have were thrown up from the last couple of videos of my solo um, cross-country um, navigation exercise to um, Cranfield and Duxford and then back to Leicester. One of them was about my hand not being close enough to the collective, which... Other information, Park Line 86, request basic service. I think that might be my instructor. Good afternoon, 
Southampton, 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 Southampton,
fly away and all the rest of it, that puts them in quite a dangerous area. It's called the height velocity diagram or the dead man's curve in colloquial terms and basically what it means is that when a helicopter is at a certain height above the ground, basically anywhere below about 500 feet and with low or slow airspeed, that's quite a dangerous area to be in if the engine fails. So this is particularly important for single engine helicopters like the one I'm flying. If you're at 200 feet at 10 knots, you're not in a very good position in terms of being able to activate an auto rotation that's going to work well to get you on the ground safely. So to mitigate that risk and to try and avoid being in that curve, we try and take off in a profile which is much more like that of an aeroplane in the sense of we try and accelerate quite close to the ground until we get to about 45 knots, then we allow ourselves to start climbing up and then we get to about 60 knots and we climb up there. That way it keeps us outside of that HV diagram. The other reason why using runways and taxiways is a good idea is that it's a predictable place to be operating. The runway is clear, there are no obstacles on it, there's nothing that we're going to crash into or hit that we haven't seen, there aren't any wires, there aren't going to be pylons or towers or anything like that. The other thing of course is that it means that if your engine fails as you're taking off, you've still got some of that clear, safe, pre-checked area in front of you hopefully, which you can use to make a safe landing on. Another reason is that other aircraft and other pilots expect to see aircraft on taxiways and on runways and flying circuit patterns around airfields so they know where to look and they're looking in those areas for you and therefore if you fly those patterns and in those areas then you're more likely to be seen and therefore that helps the old see and avoid mark one eyeball let's not hit each other situation. So. There's basically a number of, of good reasons why using runways and taxiways is a sensible way to operate even if we don't, strictly speaking, need to from a practical point of view. Wittering Zone, Student Heli Centre 69 request basic service and max penetration. Student Heli Centre 69, Wittering Zone, good afternoon, pass your message. Good afternoon, Student Heli Centre 69 is a Cabri G2 helicopter from Leicester to Leicester, currently one mile to the east of Peterborough, altitude 2,500 feet on 10190, 1POB VFR, routing towards uh, Spalding and then back to Leicester via Cottesmore. Request the basic service and penetration through the eastern sub of the map. Student Heli Centre 69. Heli Centre 69, 3750, basic service. Squawk 3750, basic service, student heli centre 69. Student heli centre 69, are you able to maintain not below altitude 2500 feet? A firm, student heli centre 69, will climb to uh, 2700. Roger, your mass penetration is approved, not below altitude 2500 feet. Mass penetration approved, not below 2500 feet, student heli centre 69. I hope that's gone some way to answer some of your questions. Of course, if you've got any more, you can always get in touch with me on social media where I'm uh, on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and you can leave a comment below here as well. I read and reply to all of them. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video and in the meantime, stay safe. Cheerio. 300 feet a minute, then rate, 35 knots. Gonna make the H, 300 feet a minute. Airspeed's down now. Coming down. Lowering it down. Sixty percent. Sixty percent and then hover. Right, tail clear that way. Student Ellie Centre six nine crossing runway three three to pass.